Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the, the City Hall in Hull. Absolutely delighted to be back. I was just on the train just a few hours ago, thinking about just over a year to the, to the day where we had that great night at Craven Park. It was our first big boxing event in Hull. Obviously, Luke Campbell debuting on that show, his professional debut, and, and Tommy challenging Derry Matthews in a fight, which really proves that you, know, you can come back from defeat. And Tommy's done remarkably well ever since. Um, in November, later that year, obviously we were back at the arena and wins for Luke Campbell, wins for Tommy Coyle um, against John Simpson there. And I think we'll all remember that night in February, earlier this year, which was just one of the, the best shows we've promoted in terms of atmosphere, in terms of drama. Another win for Luke Campbell, obviously we saw Curtis Woodhouse become the British champion by defeating Dan Hamilton. And Tommy Coyle in that fight with Daniel Brizuela which I don't think many expected it to be that type of fight. And I was hoping that that would be a much more comfortable night for Tommy. I knew it was a tough fight, but what ensued was one of the fights of the year between Tommy Coyle and Daniel Brizuela. And I think that's one that will always go down in history and whole sporting folklore. Um, and I'm delighted to bring Daniel back for a huge test for Luke Campbell. Um, his first title, changing for the WBA Intercontinental Lightweight title against Daniel Brizuela. Someone who's obviously shown how good he is, shown the level that he's operated at, had a very controversial loss against Al Jordan for the IBO title, and now comes back to Hull. He's had a win since he fought Tommy, and he changes Luke Campbell in the first real step up for Luke Campbell, and a big, big step up in terms of the level of opposition he's faced so far. Um, we've had him out in America recently, he boxed on the Kelbrook undercards, a great learning experience for him. He'll box um, in, a, in a tick over fight at Wembley Arena on the George Grove card on September 20, 20th. And then on Hull Arena on October the 25th, just a wonderful fight against Daniel Brizuela. Welcome, of, of course, to Nathan Smith and Tom Knight, um, Gavin McDonald, who is here as well, will be in action. Um, we've got a huge fight lined up for Gavin, which will be announced in the next couple of days. Um, because of that fight and because of his progress up the European rankings, he's vacated his British Super Bantamweight title and uh, he's going to be in action after his final win on the same show in February when he, when he won that title against Lee Wood. Tommy Coyle, what a fight against M Michael Katsidis. I mean, if you've had the opportunity to watch Michael Katsidis and, and watch him in fights against the likes of Juan Manuel Marquez, against Robert Guerrero, against Ricky Burns, against Kevin Mitchell when he defeated him at Upton Park. This is a fighter who, even though some may say he's approaching the back end of his career, he's still coming off wins. Uh, boxed recently in Australia, he's very fit, he's very hungry, and he's still targeting a shot at a world title. I think the two styles mix fantastically well with Tommy and Michael Katsidis, and it is really an honour to be able to bring him to Hull. When you're talking about you know, one of the legends in the division, someone that's given value to fans across the world continuously and I'm delighted to win the race because there was a lot of lightweights trying to bring Michael Katsidis to town and a lot of lightweights in this country as well and I'm, I'm delighted to win that race um, on this tremendous double header with Luke Campbell against Daniel Brizuela and Tommy Corr against Michael Katsidis. Um, firstly Gavin, obviously uh, you know you know some of the names in the mix yeah. your opponent will announce shortly and you feel it's the right time to, to step above British level now? Yeah, it is. Um, I've had a couple of good fights back here in uh, February, winning my title against Lee Wood. Um, gone on, defended it against uh, Josh Whale. And uh, I, just, I just feel we, when I'm ranked in Europe, it's time to, uh, to, to push on there and, and, and see how, how far I can go. Um, we've had a few good names. Um, lined up, so hopefully Eddie can announce a fight in the next few days. I'm back here, 25th of October. And Luke, obviously back from America, got a run out on the 20th. I think you're ready now, I think you know, you're ready for this big test and I think we're going to see the best of you. Obviously you saw Brizuela in a great fight with Tommy and you know he's the real deal. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's a fight, it's the first fight I'm truly excited about. Um, you know, I know the, what the kids got. You know what a great fight Tommy and uh, Brazuela was, and uh, looking at them type of fights, you know, it got everybody excited. I want to be in them type of fights and uh, and come out victorious as well. 
and I'm excited to show everybody what I'm capable of come October 25th and uh, I'm staying busy. Uh, I live and breathe the sport so let's put a great show on and uh, thank you all for coming and supporting this press conference and hopefully see you all October 25th. And Tommy, I know that you know you, you have always reached out with open arms for all the big names that I've ever thrown at you. And uh, you know this is you, you know what kind of fight this is going to be. So I'm a, I'm a fan of cats. See this. Um, I watched all these fights. I remember getting an iPad for Christmas one year and sitting there and putting in classic fights and cats. See this coming up and it's just a pleasure to watch. Just you know my type of fighter, exciting, never involved in a bad fight, always a war. Gives you know value for money to, to all of the boxing fans around the world. And um, it was at the barbecue, wasn't it? The mm. the uh, matchroom barbecue we had. He said, what do you think about the Cats Eaters fight? I just got butterflies straight away, I was nervous. And he said, he said, it's a crazy fight for me, but one that I'm really, really excited about. One that I think is going to be another barnstorm or another, you know, absolute war. It's got war written all over it. But it's one I'm confident in winning. Stick to a game plan. Me and Jamie have spoke about I'm very confident that I've come out um, victorious October 25th. Obviously, I've made no secrets about the plan here. And, and whilst Tommy and Luke are both matchroom fighters, I feel that you know we have an opportunity here to make a huge fighting hole in 2015. And I think victory for both men um, would lead to that epic night. I think Battle of Hull is the, the obvious choice for the, for the poster. Um, but a fight between Tommy Cole and Luke Campbell in the, in the spring summer of 2015 outdoors. Um, I know you two are close and I won't, you, you both got fights to focus on, but while we're here, Tommy, I know that again, a huge fight that, that you'd be up for and excited about. Yeah, definitely. Listen, I just love giving all the fans and I love being involved in good fights. Luke's a, a very good friend of mine, travelled the world with him, um, <laughs> got a few stories with him. You know, we was amateurs growing up, a hell of a lot of respect for him. I'd say in every interview, you know, I only got my initial shot. You know, fighting on such a big build on TV because of Luke's success in the Olympics. So, you know, I have huge respect for him. But, you know, me and Luke, we spoke. If we've got to put our friendship aside for 36 minutes, you know, to be crowned Bulls number one, then that's what we're going to have to do. Um, this is a business, this is a sport, what we're all striving to be the best in. And um, I, I want to be the best. So, he's my pal, he's a good friend. We shake hands before and afterwards. But you know, if we've got to put it to a side for, for 12 rounds or however long it lasts, then, then so be it. But we'll always be pals, that's just, just the sport we're in the game we're in. And Luke, I know that you know, we mentioned about how big that fight could be for Hull. Obviously, it all lies on Brisbane on the 25th and same for Tommy, but potentially a massive night for the city next year. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's uh, obviously I look at one fight at a time, but. For some of that could really excite the city would be me versus Tommy Coyle. I think everyone would want to see that. I think it need to be at a KC Stadium in a big enough venue because Tommy's got a lot of followers, I've got a lot of followers. We're both from the same city. Um, like Tommy said, we've been friends for a long time but we knew what business we was getting involved in and it's the entertainment business at the end of the day. And if we can put a show on, for everyone to watch, then that's what we'll do, and we'll shake hands after it. Whoever comes out victorious, you know, we'll shake hands and say, "Well done." We're 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 boxers. Exactly, we're boxers. So, yeah, that's what we do. And um, I have no problem in fighting Tommy Coyle. Like I say, he has no, he has no problem in fighting me. And um, we've both got a couple of fights ahead before next summer. Let's uh, both do the business in them fights and, and build a great matchup between me and Tommy. Oh. Can you imagine that one? Can you imagine that one at the KC Stadium? The Battle of Hull, Campbell against Coyle. British titles, world title eliminated. Golden Boy versus Rocky. The Golden Boy versus Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> you, might, you might be in my job by the time you quit your school, you know. What I mean? So tickets go on sale today at 12 o'clock, £40, £60, £120 VIP. These guys have ordered a bucket load already, so we're quite limited in terms of the, uh, the numbers. Um, I'm going to open the, the questions to the floor. Some may not ask any questions, but if you've got anything you want to ask at all, 
ask you to put your hand up and ask a question because there's a lot of members of the public here and feel free to ask any questions about the show, any questions about the fights and of course any questions to these fighters. So don't be shy if someone asks a question. There's a prize if you ask one. <laughs> don't leave me hanging. What was that? Yes, you can. You'd like a signed autograph from Tommy, but that's not a problem. Well done, well done. <laughs> he wins two tickets to the show, and so make sure you give him two tickets. Guys, we're going to have photos up here. All the guys are available for one on ones. Um, and we're going to have a group photo and then one with Tommy and uh, Luke. And we can't wait. October 25th, it's going to be a fantastic night. I believe it's going to be the most exciting and the most dramatic of all the events we've had in Hull so far. So get yourself down to the ice arena and we'll see you very shortly. Thanks as always for turning up. Thank you.